It's working. I know that's how I move my chair. I move like that. Well, there's so much stuff to go through before um, court starts next week, Monday. And it's going to be a doozy because I don't think that she's going to be cross-examined right away. I think that's going to be, I am pretty sure that she's going to go for a couple more hours. And it would be fair because Johnny was, uh, Johnny went for like about, about almost three days. So I don't think she's going to be cross-examined right away until probably like in the afternoon on Monday. Um, so anyway, I went back and watched and mostly read because I can't stand watching. Watching her right now is one thing, but watching her three years ago when she had that attitude and the position, I couldn't do it. But I read the whole thing and there's a couple of things, so more than a couple of things are completely off of what she did last week and the stuff that she said last week and how sure she was, how dramatic she was about everything of her testimony last week. And, and her testimony a couple of years ago was straight to the point because she's different. When she's behind closed doors at the position, there's no public, there's no cameras. I mean, there's cameras, but it's not gonna be used. You know, it's not televised. She behaves differently. She does. Um, and her testimony is right to the point. It's more like, okay, in 2013, this happened. And in 2014, this happened. And like that. She's not going through the sunflowers and the jar of cocaine and and the Bahamas and the way the, the, the beach looked like and the flowers that she got and the dress that she was wearing like she did last week. That's what I kind of want to play it. Definitely. Um, but okay, so I'm just going to read first her testimony from a couple years ago. And then you see, well, a couple years ago, you see how um, it was, and I won't say more believable because I don't believe a thing she says. I don't believe her at all. But um, it was way more believable than what she did last week. What she did last week was just crazy. Um, yeah. Oh, shoot. I closed my phone. I'm sorry. Sorry. I can't help myself. We're just going to have him in the background. I'm not going to get copyright claim just like I did with Drew Barrymore. I love this song. And that's how I feel about these people. I feel like they're a bunch of bullies. Um, mostly for lawyers. I mean, you know this song. We're going to dedicate this song to Amber, Amber Heard lawyers. <laughs> that dude is unbelievable. Like he's so unprofessional in a way. It's not illegal what he's doing, being a bully. It's not okay to do what he's doing morally, but it's not illegal. As my ex used to say, it's not illegal to be an asshole. So it's not. I'm sorry, I want to listen to the song. I have this song in my head. For days. This motherfucker's gonna get my medal. I ain't gonna sing it. I can, but I'm not gonna do that. Hey, I don't see any, um, I don't see the chat. This happens every single time. I have to do this from my phone. I guess if I do this from my phone, 
I can, I can actually just look at it better. It's, you know, it's, it's all blurry. I'm sorry. I love this song so much. And I think it fits. Because it's about bullies, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and if anything, I think that not she's not a victim. I think she's a victim of her own mental illness. But I think she's a bully. Which you can be both. You can be mentally ill and be a bully. I don't know why people usually think that bullies are, uh, first of all, men. They're not. Sometimes they're men, sometimes they're women. And they cannot be soft-spoken and nice and blonde and pretty. Yeah, bullies can. I mean, Amber is a bully. And she also has borderline and she also is narcissist, but she's also a bully. And that's the problem. I know people... I met people that have what she has, and they're not bullies. They're not criminals. They're not. They're not out there trying to fuck you over. Um, so not everybody that has borderline or histrionic or narcissistic disorder is an asshole. I know people love to say that on the internet. They love it. They love to go like, "Oh, she's a psychopath." She's My connection is unstable. Just, I'm still listening to the song because it's, I feel like I feel like it's fitting, right? Motherfuckers, gonna get my medal. <laughs> I remember the first time I heard this, and I was like, "Wait, did that little kid just say this motherfucker's gonna get my medal? Really?" And I had to listen to it again. I was like, "Oh, to this day, it's one of my favorite Manson songs. And it's very old. It's on my top ten. I guess unpopular opinion, but I fucking love this song. All right, so just have some fun before we are. Uh, this motherfucker's gonna get in my medal. Before I start reading, oh my gosh, I need a mega pint, a mega pint, and a jar of cocaine. Never done cocaine, never will. But I'm saying, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it in a jar. <laughs> Amber says she saw a jar of cocaine, which I think is impossible. Like, I never done cocaine and I haven't, I've been around cocaine a lot. But I'm saying, like, you can't have it in a jar. Like, in a jar, okay? This is a jar. A jar. Can you imagine if you have cocaine in a jar? You won't be able to. I mean, you can, practically, you can, but it's going to go bad. Um,. <laughs> So there's so many things that she said that she didn't say a couple years ago in her first deposition. And she didn't have to <sighs> embellish everything and do all that because she just wasted everybody's time. She wasted her own time. You notice if you watch, did you watch it yesterday? Um, not yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Thursday. Last Thursday. Um, and judge, Dr. Judge Dr. Penny said, Hey, you got three, three, uh, 30 hours left, and then you have three, you know, 32 hours left, or something like that. 36 and 34, or 32 and 33, something like that. Use it wisely. That means they have that time to to finish the case, each side. And Johnny, I won't say wasted, but he used a lot of time on his own testimony, which is fine, and I fucking loved it every minute of it, and it had to be done. But also the problem is like now she's going to be like, well, I'm going to use time for mine. And if she uses a lot of time for her testimony, then it's going to be less time for cross-examination, which is what we really want her to do. We really want her to be crossed, right? And there's going to be less time for witnesses, and there's still a gigantic list of witnesses. Um, oh, yeah, I'll, I can do that. Now that I'm talking about it. And I'll read you the list of witnesses that I have right here for both of them. And uh, I don't think this can be done in 36 hours, especially if every witness takes, like, the police officers, as much as I, I love that they were there, I love the testimony, I love that they were honest, but they didn't have to take four hours. And that was four hours of police testimony. And um, I, I, in the moment, I mean, I wasn't thinking about it. I actually didn't know because I work in family law. Family law is not like that. But again, it's not a high-profile televised. You know, I've never been as it, 
in a courtroom when this craziness is happening. I really didn't know that people have 40 hours and 40 hours or 60 hours and 60 hours. I didn't know that. Um, but now that I know that, I'm thinking, mm, might not be a good idea to go over and um, talk so much. It's, it's horrible to say don't talk because they both are, you know, they both have the right to talk. But I felt like Johnny took a lot of the time and her, um, Amber Heard is going like, okay, well now it's my time to take, to take my time. So I don't want it to be at the end rushing through it because we're running out of time, which is what Penny said. Penny said, you guys are, you guys have 36 and 34, 34 or 35, something like that. And to me, and then I went and watched the videos and I counted and the police officers took four hours of testimony, four hours. Johnny did almost three days, including the cross-examination. It was two days testimony and then another day of cross. So Johnny took about three days. The officers took four hours. The doctor, that freaking nurse, I'm sorry, that was a one witness. I couldn't, like she put me to sleep. Uh, the nurse that didn't remember anything. She talked about three hours. And the thing is, like, there's not going to be enough time for the people that are, the people that are going to come, right? And the people that are going to come are very, very interesting. <laughs> I am trying to see. Okay, here. Okay, so this is the list of witnesses as today. But... It can be it can be reduced, but also they can add somebody. For example, if you watch it on Thursday, you know when Amber mentioned Kate Moss, the model. Kate Moss used to be with Johnny uh, in the '90s for like I don't know a year or so. It wasn't like ooh a big relationship, but they were together. Kate Moss and Johnny. And Amber on Thursday she said, "Well, I had to. I had to hit him because I remember Kate Moss." Kid Moss going down the stairs. <laughs> and Johnny and his lawyers were like, good. Ah, because if she mentions she mentioned Kate Moss down the stairs, uh, we can actually bring Kate Moss um, to a video and do a deposition on her, and she's going to say positive things about Johnny. So Amber made a big mistake by mentioning Kate Moss. That's what I think, at least. That's my opinion. And almost everybody's thinking the same thing. Oh, Jesus. My hairs. Um, for some reason, I can't see the chat. And I know there was a chat, but it disappeared. Uh, and the connection is unstable. So I just, I probably should do this from my phone. But okay, I'm already here. So, so first, I'm going to read the list of witnesses. Gosh, I'm, I'm sorry. I keep... Okay, the list of witnesses as uh, April 2020, 2022. So this is before, right before they started. So it, I am not saying it can't change. It can change in a heartbeat. First of all, because they, they're lacking time right now. And I'm not happy about it. I'm not saying, ooh, Amber has less time. I think that it's probably, I hope there was a little bit more time so we can get her sister in and all these people. They're, 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 she thinks it's gonna help her case somehow. Um, and uh, sorry, I'm doing something else, of course, at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if I want her sister today. I mean, I don't know. It just seems like putting everybody through this bullshit, her family, her friends, when this is really obvious and this is something that She's not going to get away with it. And putting all these people through it just seems like it's just, um, you know, it seems wrong. But then again, she doesn't care about anybody but herself. But it really seems wrong. So, um, I have that song in my head. I wish I can pause this while I'm looking at stuff so I am not, like, here looking like 
because it's on chunks and I don't want a chunk. I want, okay, I'm just gonna get the computer. Okay, so we have list of witnesses. We have Amber, Laura Heard, and we know John C. Depp. Then we have Julian Ackward. I don't know who that is. Laura Anderson, I remember that one. Amy Banks. Amy Banks is one of the doctors and it hasn't, um, it's the position by video, but she hasn't talked yet. So I can see her name right here, Amy Banks. Then we had um, we have Ellen Barkin, the actress. Yeah, we haven't seen her anywhere because she's not, I don't know, she hasn't done anything in forever. So maybe this is her way of like coming back to the spotlight and um, trying to do some good or whatever. Anyway, Ellen Barkin, Ellen Barkin, the actress, it says in person and um, on her side, so I guess she's gonna testify against Johnny. And what I read on the internet, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm sure it is, because usually the internet don't lie these days, big media does, is that Ellen Barkin, she was with Johnny at the end of the 80s and they were arguing and he threw a bottle, allegedly he threw a bottle, a bottle, probably whiskey, wine, who fucking knows, and kind of like pass her by and they were in an argument. So she is going to testify in behalf, not in behalf, but in favor of Amber because she had one argument with Johnny in Johnny through a battle, one. That we know of, one. So anyway, Ellen Barkin, Isaac Baruch, we already saw him, Isaac. Lisa Bean, Adam, um, I wish Adam Woolman is not, I wish, oh my God, I would love that. But anyway, um, Natasha Brooks, Christian Carino, Christian Carino, I already um, testified. Christian Carino is the guy who said that Amber was with Elon and straight up um, said that um, El El Amber was with Franco and straight up said that he lost Pirates because of her. If you remember, Christian Carino, he was the guy who was like drinking at the same time that he was doing the video deposition, he was like drinking and it seemed like whiskey or something like that. They didn't look like apple juice to me. Christian Carino was like drinking and like answering questions at the same time. He was like badass like that. And he's the one that talk about Elon. And then the police officers are here on the list. We already got them. Custodians, custodian, police officers, LAPD, LAPD. Then there's Laura Devenier. Laura Devenier is a friend probably not a friend anymore, of Amber, that it was really involved with the whole thing with Adam Woolman because Adam Woolman subpoenaed Laura DeVenier. Laura DeVenier is one of the characters that is right there on the elevator. Uh, there's Rocky Pennington, and there's Amanda DeKinette, and there's Laura DeVenier. Laura DeVenier is really important because she got emails from Adam Woolman. She said that she was blackmailed. She said that Adam Woolman was a bully and she was scared. But also she was in the elevator. She probably was around Amber when Amber was high as a kite on mushrooms. She was she went to Coachella with her. So this person is really important. She hasn't um she hasn't appeared yet, but it's on the list. I'm writing it. I'm just reading it. I'm so glad that she's there. I would really hope that we have time for all this chunk of people because some of them are going to be like really fucking important. Josh Drew, which is the guy who answered the, the door when the, the cops were there and he was very, very rude. You know, you don't be rude to the police officers. Just don't. Don't be rude to the police, dude, especially when they come to your house to try to help you because somebody made a 911 call saying... There's a woman screaming. Um, so Josh Drew, Joshua Drew is the one who was a jerk, jerk face to the police officers and answered the door. He's there on the witness list. Then Erin Falati. Erin Falati is the nurse, the one that took two hours to say a word. She really annoyed me. I'm sorry. Um, then Darren, we got Franco James. And it says Franco James on video. Of course, he's not going to go there in person. Can you imagine? It would be like just pandemonium outside. It would be freaking funny. Anyway, Franco is there on the list. I don't know if he's going to appear or not. 
Eric George, Jody Water, Tyler Hayden, Cornelius, uh, Whitney, Whitney Henriquez, which is Whitney Hurd, but Henriquez is her husband last name. Whitney, Whitney's there in person. Jennifer Howell, also in person. Melanie Iglesias, also in person. All these people are really, very really important. They're very important players. And if you've been watching or reading about the on YouTube, on Instagram, or whatever, watching or reading about the case, you know these names I'm talking about, and you know how important they are. One of them is the makeup artist that saw her the day after, the makeup artist and the hairstylist that saw her the day after, and got her ready for the James Corden show, where she said she got black, two black eyes and a busted lip and all that. One of them is the makeup artist, so I hope that she had something to say. Then we have uh, uh, Bonnie Jacobs and Tracy Jacobs, which are part of the doctor, part of the, the team of doctors that was seen. Amber, Dr. Jacobs, we heard that name before um, last week. Um, so I hope that actually she shows up. David Kipper, we already seen David Kipper. David Kipper, um, Johnny's doctor, we saw enough of David Kipper. He's a very important player right there because he was looking for the finger. He prescribed. He did detox. He was like in every part of Johnny's life pretty much. And I'm glad. I'm thankful for that. Debbie Lloyd, the nurse, we already saw her. Joel Mandel. I don't know who that is. Richard Moore. That's important too. Elon Musk. It says by video WebEx. Why he has to be the only, Elon Musk has to be the one person on this whole list that it says something different about him. It's like the, the rest of the people, it's like it says in person or video call. Video call or in person. Elon Musk is the only one that has something called WebEx. He has to have a different name for the medium that he's going to appear. It's going to be WebEx. Nobody is using WebEx, but Elon is using WebEx. Um, if we have time, I don't know, Raquel Pennington, I really would like to see what the fuck she has to say. Uh, Raquel Pennington is very important. Raquel Pennington is the one that did the 911 call. Nobody's going to tell me she wasn't. I heard a bunch of times. It's her voice. She sounds like she's ordering some pizza. She's like, well, there's an emergency on the Eastern Columbia building. No, I can't tell you what it is, but you should go because there's a woman screaming. The name is Amber. No, I don't know. I don't know the guy. Da, 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 da. She's so cold about it and so bleak. But that was on purpose. They were doing that on purpose. So it didn't it didn't sound like it's my friend. It sounded like it was a stranger. But it was, and it was Raquel Pennington. I'm not gonna what's the point of calling her Rocky? Rocky? Okay, Raquel. She's gonna be there in person. That's what it says on the list, and I'm reading right now. Okay, um, Savannah McMiller, that's a person that is very important as well. Hasn't it, haven't seen her yet. Ayo, Ayo, Tyler Wright, Ayo, remember Ayo? Ayo says by video, ooh, we're not gonna see you in person, Ayo, that sucks. <laughs> I was hoping, I was hoping to see Ayo in person. I don't know, it says by video, and I hope that, I hope that these people, I hope that we actually start keeping up with the time and they have a minute to, to give their a witness um, because it's going to be fucking funny. In a way, I'm thinking, well, it's good if she has less time. But at the same time, they can always say, well, Johnny had all this time. Johnny took three days for himself to talk. Um, then Johnny has uh, officers talking for like four hours. So Johnny had all this time and Amber didn't have enough time. So I want both of them to have the time pretty much because I want to watch the train wreck of um, her witnesses. I cannot be more upset than I was before when I saw Johnny broken. I cannot be more upset than that. So whatever happens next, it's just going to be a party to me. Poop party. Alejandro Romero. Alejandro Romero, we already saw him. Um, he, he was the one who was um, driving and smoking at the same time, and never in my life, never in my life saw the position of somebody driving. I know he's in LA, but still, dude, driving and vaping. 
So we got that and already Christy, uh, Johnny's sister. There's so many people. And on the list, who's there? Adam Wallman. And I really want Adam Wallman to show up. And he, it might be, it says in person, but it might be by video. But I'm just telling you what I'm reading right now. This comes from the court house website that you can go um, and look it up. And they don't charge you like the one in California for the Marilyn Manson files that I paid for it. This is free. Uh, because it's a civil case and it's been televised and it's so high profile that the files are free. You can just go and look it up on fairfaxcounty.gov. Fairfaxcounty.gov. All you got to do is put Johnny, Johnny Amber Heard, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, or Depp Heard, or um, and just whatever you want to put next to it. Actually, if you type Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, Adam Wallman is going to show you exactly the Adam Wallman um, test, uh, testimony from like a couple years ago. So Adam Wallman, Wallman is there um, on the list. It doesn't mean he's going to be there. He's on the list. Um, Edward White, we already saw Edward White. Uh, Benjamin Wisner, I don't know who Benjamin Wisner is. But anyway, we have like at least 10 more people from her side um, that I can think they're important and they haven't testified yet. So I'm not gonna do the math, but if we only have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because there's no court on Friday, they're going to have to, they can take more than an hour each person. Otherwise, we're not going to make it. And they have to wrap up this case before Memorial Day. Um, that's what Penny said. And then there's a day they give to the jury to 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 talk it out and brainstorm and, and brain popcorn. <laughs> and I call it that. To go, you know, to see, you know, within themselves that, that now and then is the time they can talk about it, not before, but then they have to have, they need a whole day for that. So if we're taking four hours with one witness, we're not going nowhere. Um, so I hope they start getting like faster. And not because I want Johnny to lose, of course, he's not going to lose. No, it's because I want her case, I want her people to show up and look like a bunch of idiots. So in a way, I'm being selfish, but I do want Whitney there. I want Whitney. I want Io. I want Josh. I want Raquel. I want to see what mental gymnastics they can actually make in their freaking head to justify what they did, how wrong it was. Looking great, great. Hey, Tammy. I might stop this and go and do it from my phone. Instead, because the computer is unstable, I can do it from my phone. Anyway, I just read the witness list. Did you hear me? Did you, did you heard it, right? So Adam Woman is there. And we love, I love me some Adam Woman. Rocky and Ember are no longer friends. Yes, it doesn't matter because Rocky is on the list. She's been called. She's been subpoenaed. She's going to have to go. Even if she goes and says, hey, I'm not friends with nobody. I want to go home. That's it. She at least has to answer questions, <clears throat> I don't know, for at least 20 minutes or so. When you are on the list, you're on the list. But she is on her list. That's what I'm saying. They might not be friends, but they might have some type of um, understanding. And, of course, Franco's there. Franco's on her list. I don't know how good that is. Um, did you watch my video, my little clip that I posted on Franco? <laughs> on Franco and Ember on the elevator. And then Franco, James Franco and Ember Heard talking about privacy and Ember Heard saying like, I don't like social media and I don't like, I want to be private with my life and all that. And she's talking like that next to James Franco. <laughs> and then I posted the elevator footage. And listen, I'm not judging her for cheating. It's not about cheating. What is about is about lying. It's not about cheating on your husband. It's about saying that you were hurt and the next day you get some dude coming over and give you mushrooms because allegedly, that's my opinion, James Franco is that type of douchebag. Sorry, Franco. I never like him and I kind of never will because he's just sleazy. 
Elon Musk is not sleazy, but Franco is sleazy. How do you go from Johnny Depp to James Franco? They haven't trial. Do you think it's going to be a trial? I was just listening to Marilyn Manson before you got here. I was just listening to Lunchbox by Marilyn Manson because it's one of my favorite songs ever. Do you think there's going to be a trial for Evan? You know, I don't know. I have a weird feeling about that. If they settle outside of court, it will suck. It will suck for, for all of us. It will suck for him. It will suck for his reputation. It will suck because he he has been canceled. Um, so I hope they don't they don't do hush hush. Um, like in Michael Jack Michael Jackson case that I the I I always thought that Michael Jackson was innocent, but he didn't go through it. He went hush 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 and gave people money. So I don't know if there's even gonna be a trial. To be honest with you. Okay, so Laura Devenier is a friend of uh, of Amber's, a friend, because when people have are cuckoo mental the way she is, they really cannot keep friends for more than like three months. They either break up with their friends or their friends dump them or ghost them or whatever. So people that were friends with her before, they're not friends with her anymore. But that doesn't matter because the law doesn't give a shit about how flaky of a friend you are. You have a subpoena and you have to show up. Um, so these people are showing up. But what I'm saying is like at one time, at one time so we can actually see them. And if you watch it, yeah, Manson actually, Manson did it better because Manson added, added to the thing emotional distress. And Johnny didn't. So um, it, it's not, I mean, it's just, it's not a mistake. It's a, it's, it's an, a strategy that his lawyers are going for. But um, Manson, um, not only the defamation, libel, and all that, but also emotional distress, which we know that, we know that Johnny has been through. We saw it. We saw him talking about the emotional distress we saw and it's way more than i ever thought i was gonna know or I, I never saw i was gonna see him like that never 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 so if that's not emotional distress and i don't know what it is but emotional distress is not on the filing manson did it but johnny didn't and that is a big amount i just wish he did because emotional distress can be proven so damn fucking easy. Now they're going into this like, well, we don't know if he lost pirates because of Amber or because he was drunk. You know, it's really hard to prove something like that. But emotional distress, it's not hard to prove at all. Manson is not going to have any problems proving emotional distress. Hell, we can all go right now and, play in the <laughs> and show emotional distress, okay, from this case because it's pissing me the fuck off. I was emotional distressed with Britney Spears' case. I was like, really, seriously, not. I, I was, oh, I was so mad. I, so I can claim emotional distress too. Okay, so of all these people, the ones that I really want to see, oh, of course, I want to see Elon Musk, but I don't think he's going to go. I want to see Franco just because he's going to sit like stone out of his mind. I don't like him and I never will. Um, but I want to see Whitney, I want to see Raquel Pennington, I want to see Io, <laughs> I want to see um, Alejandro Romero, Luis Alejandro Romero, I want to see Dr. Jacobs, Dr. Jacobs is the one, there's two, there's Tracy Jacobs and Boney Jacobs, Bonnie, there's, they're real, both of them are doctors, they're the doctors that the um, forensic psychologist talk about last week um, that she said, well, she was seeing Dr. Jacobs, Dr. Jacobs, Dr. Jacobs, Dr. Jacobs. Well, Jacobs is on the list. But Jacobs is a doctor that say he doesn't do diagnosis. <laughs> okay. 
he's a therapist, he doesn't do diagnosis. So Jacobs might say, well, she doesn't have a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder or histronic because he doesn't do diagnoses. So we're fucked. <laughs> we're not completely fucked, but we're, we're a little bit fucked if the guy who doesn't do diagnosis shows up and says, well, she shows signs of post-trauma. Sh she shows signs of a panic attack. She shows signs of depression, but he doesn't, he's not going to diagnose her. Then we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. A bandmate who said JD almost died. Yeah, the break, the serious, the nervous breakdown, breakdown. I believe that was um, caused by all this. You cut the finger allegedly. Let's say, let's say she didn't cut it. He lost the finger. He's a person that plays guitar. He loves guitar more than he loves acting. Probably he always talks about his first love is guitar, and you cut the man's finger and he plays guitar come on now of course he's gonna have a nervous breakdown if that's what you that's what you're talking about that's the one i'm talking about that he even admitted he had a nervous breakdown having a nervous breakdown is not the same as having a diagnosis a diagnosis doesn't go away so jd having a breakdown once in a while from all this stress you know it, it's just like he's just like all of us how many times we have nervous breakdowns all the time? Not all the time and not so often, but once in a while it does happen. Um, the guy lost a finger and he's a musician. So besides the whole, we're breaking up. and the, I mean, I think that he rather got his face cut in half than have his finger cut off. I really believe that that sent him into, um, that's when he... Um, he said he said it himself that he relapsed. He started drinking again, uh, and I mean, I, I, I can't. I, I can't say I get it. I will never understand it because I will never be in this situation because I'm not Johnny Depp. But um, I, it has to be horrible just to wake up one day and to see the person that you love or you thought you love or whatever. Not it, it's shitting on the bed. Not only that. I don't think she should on the bed. I think Io did. But anyway, she maneuvered, no pun intended, the whole joke. Um, not only that, but you missing a finger. She's writing shit on the walls, all right? She's messing with your paintings because she, she told the story the opposite. She said that he messed with her clothing racks and her shoes and he was throwing shit everywhere. She's not talking about the stuff that she threw everywhere. She was throwing stuff all over the damn place. And that's what those pictures that Ben Kin took. There's no proof that they were that mess was done by Johnny. That probably that mess was probably done by both of them, if anything. Um anyway. So okay, so what I want to see, I wanted to I wanted to show you the difference between I know that we've been to this. Many times. Is Umbrella Guy live? I'm always here when he's here for some reason. I love the guy. Um, I wish I can pause this so so when I look for things, I don't just go like and look dumb. Um, but not like not like it looks dumb. I just look like I'm all over the place, and I'm actually not. I have like. I have like, I don't know, like 20 second page uh, tabs open. So I can't really, <laughs> um, are you with me, Tammy? They spent time together before they got married though. I am so hot. I should put my hair up, but it's so hot. It's like 95 degrees today, 95 degrees. And it's humid and it's hot. Yeah, they were married for 15 months, but they were together for longer than that. And you think that all of a sudden this happened and you don't know who this person is, this monster. Um, did you watch the the behavioral panel the other day? The four guys that do uh, body, body language. 
they talk about they talk about Amber and they describe Amber as a Disney princess who marries Satan. No, and they don't think that, but because the way Amber was talking, it was like one of the guys, he's a genius. He's a very, very good professional and like he's an expert. He said, well, this whole thing, I don't want to be unprofessional. But he said, but the whole thing sounds like she's a princess who marries Satan. And I thought that was really cool. That was really fun. But that's because what she's playing. She's playing the damsel in distress. She was like, wait, the tough, the tough Texan girl, you know, that's looking him in the eye and go like, what? Why are you going to hit me? What? That didn't work. That didn't work because the public didn't believe that. So now she's going into more of the distress and now that's what she is, you know, accusing him of sexual assault, which she didn't before because the damsel in distress character is no longer working. And she knows that nobody's buying the bruises problem. She knows that. That's why she has to add the sexual assault to it because she knows that the bruises are not going to, they're not going to cut it anymore. Okay, so I'm going to play, okay, I'm just going to play a little bit of testimony and I'm going to just kind of like react to what she's doing to her, with her face and her body because it's, it's a feast for the eyes. So this is the first day of her testimony, right? So she goes forever and ever, forever and ever, talk about the flowers and the wine and how he's so generous and all that. And she took seriously 51 minutes of court time talking about how much of a dream, dream boat uh, Johnny was. 51 minutes. So I skip all that. Hungry, you know, expletive, expletive, you know, just this, what is go. it felt really dirty to be an actor. It, never mind that he was one. It was more, it was dirty that I wanted to do this job that I wanted to do when I was doing the job of an actress. It was everything I, every time I was walking out of the house, I, he would ask me, that's really what you're wearing, kid? Oh, I see. Okay. When she's telling the story, she's like looking at the lawyer. And then when she said, well, every time I, I left the house, he asked me, is that what you're wearing, kid? When she said that, she does this. It looks at the jury. She wasn't looking at the jury before. She looks at the jury when there's like a dialogue. Do you know what I mean? It's so fucking bizarre. She's so interesting. She's fucked up, but she's interesting because it's so bizarre. You know, I, I wore a dress to an event once and I felt, I felt beautiful on it. <laughs> I, I felt beautiful on it. There's no need for all that. You know that, right? The deposition that she did a couple years ago was was also a lie, but it was straight to the point. And then he punched me, and then he did this, and then he did that, and then I did this, and then I did that. They didn't have all this embellishment and all this glittery shit that she's trying. But I know, I know, I know what she's trying to do. But 51 minutes or more of court time of her saying how wonderful and how beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we won. <laughs> we won. We won. I mean, Tug, Tug won two years ago. When they put when they put his name, the name of his channel on the court papers, he won. He won way before. That guy is a legend. That's what I'm saying. If he's live, I go, I run, I stop anything I'm doing, and I just go watch him. Okay, so he, she's like half smiling. She's like doing this whole, maybe it's a Botox. I don't know. Stupid as that sounds, I, I felt pretty in this dress I picked out. And I showed it him because, I, you know, it's a carpet. It's red carpet. So it's like, you know, public. Okay. She is a person who reads a lot of books and she's quite intelligent and speaks a lot better than a lot of actors do. But when she's speaking to the jury in that moment when she wants to be relatable, she says, you know, you know, you know, 
I say, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? All the time. But I live in L.A. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You all know what I mean? Constantly. But she doesn't. She never uses those things. But when she's looking at the jury and she's talking about the red carpet and she knows the jury is not going to understand the feelings of being in a red carpet because they're not a bunch of actors. She goes, you know, and it was a beautiful dress, you know, and that is that is just like she's like begging for empathy because she's not a person who uses, you know, a lot. She's not. So, you know, you know, it's not like you, Amber. So it's totally phony, incredibly phony. I saw his and I kind of thought it was weird. He didn't, wasn't saying anything about it. You know, I left him to go do this red carpet. And I was like, did you see the, the, you know, the event I went to, you know? You know, basically, you know, you know, you know. Basically, I just... I, I felt pretty and I thought, like, did you see that? You know, I wanted him to say something about that. You know, you know. And um, and he said, well, this is after he stopped talking to me for some time, didn't tell me why. When he came back in my life, he wouldn't explain why he was acting different. He just kind of acted mad at me and know what I had done wrong. Okay. She stopped saying, you know. <laughs> She was saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, only when she was talking to the jury about the red carpet, because she knows that the jury is not going to identify. They don't know what the fuck a red carpet is. They don't feel, they don't know how it feels to be famous. They don't know. I don't know. So in that moment, when she was talking about the fame, the red carpet, she said, you know, you know, now she's not talking about the red carpet anymore. Now she doesn't have to say, you know, she really is a master of this shit. Sometimes, sometimes she's not. Like, sometimes she is a master of it. Usually not. But sometimes she is. And when I brought up the dress and the event, because it was an event to support a charity I was really involved with at the time. Charity. And I said, you, you know, did you see that thing? And he said, yeah. You yeah, know. The whole world saw that kid. <sighs> Again, that you know, she is seriously, she's seriously having a dialogue with herself, herself and the jury. That's what she's saying, you know, every two seconds. That's how they'll remember you. That's how the world will remember you. I was like, oh, come on. I mean, it's like, but it, you know, I felt, I felt good in it. I felt good. And he said, yeah, kid, that's what you're putting out there in the world. No one will ever forget that. And that's all they'll see you as. That's what you, that's what you wanted. That's what you were going for. You know, my dress was slow cut. I get it. Slow cut. But I felt, um, you know, uh, I felt really embarrassed and horrible that I wore that. I felt like, how could I have made that choice? Of course, you know, he's right. You know, you start to believe it. I, I started to believe that, that, that. Okay. When she said, I felt that, you know, he was right. She says that, I felt that, he's right. And when they do that, when they go past and present, past and present, it's usually they're either really nervous, which I don't think is the case because she's done this before. Not only she's an actress, but she's done like three depositions before. She knows how to be in court. She knows what she's doing. So I don't think it's nerves, but for example, and I don't think it's a language barrier also, if I say to you, well, um, he was hitting me and he's drinking this Gatorade. You'd be like, wait, like, why are you doing this present past, present past? So that's what she's doing constantly. She's just said, I felt pretty in the dress and he didn't like it. He was not liking it. She didn't say, I felt pretty in the dress and he didn't like it past that actually would be a better way to explain it um and I, I i don't think it's nerves i don't think this lady is nerve nerve like nervous at all because she's done this before she's loving every minute of it especially this is the first day of the deposition of the um, testimony when she had the hair to one side and she was wearing the blue suit she was not nervous at all so i don't consider her nervous 
Uh, when I say, you know what I mean, do you know what I mean? You know, it's probably nerves and sprays because I don't want to deal with whatever is happening. But when she does it, I don't think it's nerves and I don't think it's lack of intelligence. I think that she's doing it to be so people can relate to her. So I don't like that you know, you know, you know. And also present and past, present and past. Like I said, if I'm talking about my ex and I say, man, he slapped me, slapped like past. He, he hit me really bad. He used to hit me, for example, past. And then he was here drinking his coffee. So he drank his coffee. He was hitting me while he was drinking his coffee, for example. That would be crazy. <laughs> then coffee punching. You know what I mean? I won't say, well, I was getting hit and then he drank his coffee. And she does this a lot. She does this a lot. And again, I'll give it a pass if it was like Jane Doe down the street and there was the first time that she goes to court and she doesn't know how to speak. She doesn't know how to be on a camera. But it's Amber Heard. And I don't think it's nerves. I think that her subconscious is playing tricks on her because it's... Um, you don't go to, to the past and the present, past, present. I mean, you can, but but not for like two hours. This is the first day. So I'm not going to play the whole sexual assault thing. First of all, I refuse to do that. Second of all, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to hear that again. That made a lot of sense, of course. Um, but it didn't stop with that. It's just... Clothing in general, when I walked out of the house, it was never, it wasn't just like, hey, you're not allowed to wear that. It was like, oh, really? That's what you're wearing. No wonder. No wonder you get cast in those roles. No wonder you, you, you that's what you are. That's what you're making. Okay. None of this stuff about the clothing and he's being jealous or he, he controlling the way that she was dressing. None of this was in the first testimony three years ago, or in the second testimony, two years ago, in the deposition, two years ago, none of it. This sounds like she's been having a lot of conversations with Everett Wood and the Manson ladies because she never before, never mentioned how controlling Johnny was about her dresses. Well, will he be? What I'm saying is like, this is a guy who has been, um, you know, 40 years of his life with uh, women. His partners were almost all of them very glamorous actresses and women that they wear dresses like that. He's used to being with ladies that are going to wear low cut, low back cut, low cut hair, uh, cleavage, red carpet, glam up, you know, showing a lot of skin. He's used to that. So it's really weird for me to believe, and it's, it's impossible. I don't believe for a second that all of a sudden he's this guy that tells people what to wear. Like he's, he's 60 years old and now he just became this guy. Um, if his whole, if, if the relationship she had, he had in the past were like Jane Doe's on the street, fine. But he was with Winona Ryder. He was with Vanessa Paradis. He was with um, uh, women that are like really super good looking and super glamorous. I mean, when about her, okay, Moss, you can say whatever you want about her, but they were gorgeous and they show a lot of skin in events with him. So I don't believe Amber for a second. Um, and also that is, none of that is on the testimony couple years ago none of it none of it that he will criticize her from having a low cut low cut or cleavage or whatever N none of it i mean that's something very important that if you feel so controlled if you feel like the guy is really choking you not 